now to a no mask wearing incident inside a Chicago gym. It got real ugly, real fast. If you had just kept your mouth shut and not played games, I'd be walking out and you'd be minding your own business. Tonight, the man who pushed and then jabbed his finger into another man's chest is charged. CBS 2 Stephen Graves joins us live. Stephen, this all started with a request to put on a mask. Hey, Jim, yeah, that's right. I talked to this trainer who says he asked this customer to first wear a mask and then to wear it properly. while well, things continued and turned into this. Walk away. Yeah. 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 Then I'll push you away. This video filmed by Anytime Fitness goers last Thursday in Edgewater is just a snippet, roughly five minutes of a confrontation that lasted hours. If you had just kept your mouth shut and not played games, I'd be working out. A man angry over a trainer's mask enforcement hurls pushes and more expletives. It's a joke. You're ruining my country. The guy at the receiving end of all of this with his hands up, Adrian Aguilar. Hands up knowing that that would send him the signal, I don't want to hurt you, I don't want to fight you, I don't want to come close to you. Aguilar says this argument came after two prior attempts to get the man to wear a mask. We're very strict about mask protocol. And so there's post-it places? Oh yeah, everywhere. Later in the video, the man police have identified as Anthony Myers claims he was wearing one when he needed and to. It was on when I was working out, it's down because I'm doing Aguilar, the only staff member on hand at the time, says he and Myers called police, but officers arrested Myers after seeing the footage. This video has since been seen by thousands on social media. Everyone's saying, I would have fought him. I hope that this is a good example to show that you don't have to, and violence is not the answer. Myers, who's 30 years old, does face misdemeanors of trespassing and battery. We are still working to contact him to get his side of the story here. Meanwhile, the gym does say he is not allowed back. Reporting, I'm Stephen Graves, CBS 2 News. Jim. Stephen, thank you.